Hey, what is going on, everyone? Happy Monday evening. You made it to the beginning of your week. You made it through the first day of your week, and I am so glad for that. My name is Dame, and I am so glad to be with you here Monday night on the Roll to Level Twitch channel. We're going to be playing some Chrono Trigger here in just a bit, but we're going to let this track finish out. This is from the OC Remix. Dot org. If you're not familiar with these guys, you need to get familiar with those guys because they're doing some amazing work when it comes to video game soundtrack remixes. And every single Monday night, I have a difficult time picking which song that I want to put. I want to play in the intro here because they just they do an excellent job. This is uh, uh, a a piece that's inspired by the game that we're playing tonight. Uh, it's called Eye of the Trigger. It's from the Chrono Trigger soundtrack, or it's a reimagining uh, of a track from the Chrono Trigger soundtrack. Uh, it is actually on the Overclocked University album, The Sophomore Year. Uh, and you can find that, like I said, on ocremix.org. You got to check them out. Well, I am so glad to be with you guys here on Monday night because it means we get to hang out together. And my hope is, uh, is that... One, that uh, that you're encouraged by the time that we, we spend together here tonight, um, because that's part of what we're about here. Uh, Roll the Level exists as a group of gamers that loves talking about life, God, and video games in no particular order. And so that's going to happen tonight as we're playing some Chrono Trigger. Um, but yeah, I hope that uh, no matter what your Mondays look like, that it has been a, a good, good day for you. And even if it hasn't been a good day, that it's it's something that uh, tonight as you kind of kick back or as you have this on in the background as you're putzing with other things that uh yeah that uh you get some laughs along the way uh, even if it's at my expense i don't care if i uh bring you a little bit of joy tonight or or maybe even just a, a perspective piece that'd be awesome but i hope that everything actually goes forward tonight uh well because um it is thundering here like crazy. Uh, we have been uh, in this like almost quasi drought. And now all of a sudden it's like the heavens have opened and all of the rain is coming and the rain is coming with the thunder and the lightning. So I'm just hoping that my power and my Internet stays on throughout this evening as as we're playing here tonight. But uh, yeah, let me know how you're doing in the comments here. I'd love to know, uh, love to know how you're doing here on this Monday evening, and uh, and also if there's any way that uh, that we can be praying for you as a team, we'd love to be able to do that, partner with you uh, in that, and uh, any way we can be an encouragement is is awesome. I was reminded this uh, this week as I was uh, as I was preparing to preach on Sunday that um, hope is kind of an interesting thing. Uh, especially in this last uh, several years, uh, you know, we've seen we've seen a bunch of things that have just kind of like sprung out in in our, our world and our culture that are things that are that can be kind of scary uh, or things that we have no control over. And, and, you know, ask the question on Sunday, like, how do you hold them to hope, especially in some of those times when when it feels like the dream has died? Uh, and uh, kind of uh, a little bit uh, a connection with that with where we're at in the game. As uh, as we've kind of been at a place where where we're dealing with the death of Chrono, which uh, is kind of an odd place to be in the story. If you are if you have never played this game before, I'm sorry. Big spoilers on a story, huge story plot point. Um, Chrono is dead. Our titular character is uh, he's dead. We're going to try to do something about that this evening because that's part of the story here uh, tonight. But uh, but yeah, one of the questions I asked was like, you know, what do you how do you hold on to hope? when it feels like the dream is dead, like what, what do you do when, when you have those things that even, even when they, they are things that you are convinced they're like big things, like God sized things that he gave you, like he kind of birthed that dream in you. Like, what do you do in those moments where like, it just doesn't go the, the way that, that you thought it should go. Um, and, and one of the things we talked about was defining what hope is and, uh, there's a there's a Christian author pastor. Um, some people love him, some people hate him. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of following the like, hey, he's somebody that loves Jesus and is pointing people to Jesus. So we're gonna go with that uh, sort of camp. But uh, his name is John Piper, and 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 Piper calls hope a 
a, 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 a moral, uh, it, it's like a moral confidence that there's this, there's this thing that's like kind of in the depths of who we are that, that hope kind of clings into, especially if you're a Christian, because uh, hope is kind of this, this confidence that God's good is greater than any of the garbage that we can go through. Like, and even in the midst of the crappy, it doesn't take the, the crappy away, but, uh, but yeah, it's uh, that God is a part of, of kind of walking through us with some of that stuff. So uh, anyway, um, just hope that's uh, some food for thought here this evening as you are as you are closing out your Monday. Maybe you're beginning your Monday right now. I don't know. Um, you might be beginning your Monday. And I hope that if uh, whatever the case may be, that um, that maybe that's a just kind of a piece that you needed to hear tonight. And um because I know it's something that I've needed to, to hang on to recently. but So there's that. We're going to jump into our game here tonight. We are we are dealing with, uh, like I said, the death of Chrono. We ended in a place, though, that we are in this kind of weird, um, what is it? Lost Sanctum, the Lost Sanctum. And uh, we are, we've got this ladder that we are, that we just had crafted and we are schmoving towards uh towards getting figuring out like where that's gonna lead us so we're gonna see what happens here i feel like we just got a new ability with with uh with robo here last time that was uh that was a pretty solid ah yeah rapid fire fists yeah, that's the that's the one right there. So we got these guys in party because uh, they do not quite have their uh, their final tech or their final techniques, and so we're trying to get them tech points as uh, as they are running along here with them. So we're gonna play in here a little bit, try to see if we can't uh, can't advance the plot of this section a little, and then we're gonna. We're going to go to Death Mountain, or Death Peak, and, uh, and we're going to find out what happens at Death's Peak. All right. Ladder break. No go up. Make strong new ladder. I thought that's what we just did. Hmm. We're going to fight this guy. Uh, I might have to come back to this, because, um, yeah, all right, so we are, uh, we got to get, uh, there's a, uh, technique with Ayla that we got to, we got to get. Rapid fire fist, that's so good. Ah, oh, it's so good when it does not miss. Ooh, that is bad time right there oh, you know, we've got that's right I believe these guys are they are a little bit challenging when it comes to hitting them with something that is not an elemental type or with things that are physical damage All right, got some tech points, which is great. Okay, um, so when we left off, I thought we had gotten enough stuff and things to build a ladder. And it looks like I was wrong. So, I think this is probably where we're gonna go to Death's Peak and do something rather than you guys watch me flounder with trying to figure out what's going on here we are actually in the part of the game where there are a fair number of side quests and side stories of things that um, that we can go and do uh, and uh, they are things that that really do pay dividends when it comes to um, being able to advance the story a little bit more and, um, and so we're gonna take care of some of those here tonight.
get that XP and them tech points. All right, I do wanna look at this here. Okay, so Robo's proximity bomb, 400. Frog's got his Steely Whopper there. Ayla needs help. All right, I think what we might do, because I think Magus, I think Magus needs some, a neighbor of mine loves to build things. So, yep, loves to build things. And it, I, it seems like he's off building something, but I'm not sure where he's building that ladder because I gave him the hammer and I gave him, I gave him everything that he needed to work. Maybe he's working in another area? Maybe? We're gonna see. We're gonna go to the, through the woods here and Ooh, that's newish. Ah, oh, bummer. Okay, that was weird. Cause usually those guys offer a lot of tech points, which we take those, love those. Nothing wrong with those. Uh, no, frog! Uh-oh. That's... That's no good. Alright. We're gonna send bubbles. It's a legitimate strategy. That is quite unfortunate. Apparently, physical attacks are no good against pottery. Sorry, Link. This would not be a good place for you, my friend. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... We're gonna heal up here. Okay. This guy. Alright, well, we're. Oh. That was very odd. Okay. I don't know why it's not letting me use Tailspin, but... Alright. Okay, game. Alright, well... I am genuinely stumped. I am not sure... Where we gotta go. Because... We certainly did not break the ladder in the past but it would seem as though it would seem as though the ladder is missing in the present I'm gonna talk to you've done a lot for this village we owe you a great deal of thanks do you now? Because I don't feel like I've done anything for this village. It's been pretty self-serving, to be honest. To be fair. Please, won't you go to the mountains south and try to do some... I'm trying, guys. I want to do something. Okay. We're going to go to the past. Um, and we're going to see if there's something that we can do in the way way back that allows us to be able to advance what's going on here so we will go to prehistory we're going to the ancient of times 
Here we'll take our time machine. All right. I do love the music for this game. It's just so happy. It's whimsical. It's quite whimsical. Which is so interesting for a story that, like, that hits on so many different letters. Oh, greetings again! If I have ever had another favor to ask of you, I'll be sure to ask. Apparently, does not have another favor to ask. All right, we're gonna. All right. We are trying to find a ladder. Oh, such a gorgeous gem there was. If you find any other pretty stones, be sure to show them to me. I would love to do that. We will show you all of the pretty stones, my friend, once we have them. But you know what we don't have right now? Any pretty stones. I don't even know that I have any ugly stones to show them. All right, so to the field there, pass through the west cavern, dark pitch beyond that. Well, who knows? The place is so dark you cannot see a thing, but I think there's something hidden there. Probably. That's usually the aim of hiding things, right? <laughs> All right. That used to be in a monastery. Yep, yep. What a waste. Okay. So, those dudes gave me stuff and things. So, we're going to go back to the mountain. And we're going to see if, by chance... You know what? I think I was... Why is Tailspin not working? Okay, gotcha. It, I'm supposed to be surrounded by enemies. Ne never mind. Gotta love that. Um, I'm trying to decide. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go back actually to the village here, and we're gonna put Frog up for a little while, and bust Magus back out because I think Magus still needs some tech points, and this journey would be good for him. All right, party. Bum. Alright, here we go. Magus is in party. We are moving back in that direction. We're going to see if we can ascend the mountain and see what the mountain holds. I'm going to use Dark Mist. Ooh, so fancy. It was literally a dark mist. You couldn't miss it. Hey! What's up, Garrick? Good to see you in here tonight, buddy. Thanks for lurking. Glad you're hanging out tonight. I hope you're doing well, man. Hope you are doing well. Hope this Monday is treating you all right. It's so good to hear from you. So good to see you in here, man. Thanks for stopping in, buddy. We are trying to advance what's going on in this mountain region here, in this uh, lost sanctum. The problem is that we are kind of in this weird, this weird place of... I think we might have messed up. I think I might have messed things up and uh, rushed a thing or two that was not supposed to necessarily be rushed. But uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna find out. 
We're gonna see what we can see. We're gonna find out. So what we gotta do is we gotta find that new, and we gotta figure out if he's gonna be waiting for us atop the mountain. I do kind of wish that um, there was a system in this game, kind of like the, um, oh goodness, what game was it that had that? There were there have been a couple of RPG style games that have had like a, uh, like a rope system, where if you were in a dungeon and you use the rope, I think Secret of Mana was one of those, where if you were in a dungeon and you used a rope, that um, that the rope would kind of pull you out of. Um, of a dungeon area and uh, get you back out into the brave and bright world to resume your quest. Oh, you just uh, mimicked what we did there. Those guys, let me tell you what. Hey, we got some level ups. We're going to look at, uh, all right, we got, ooh, Black Hole with Magus. Oh, why did I drop Ayla from party? That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. We're going to correct that mistake. I think that our closest save spot is actually going to be up this way. But I did not mean to pull her from party. I was trying, actually trying to pull Frog from party. Not that we don't like Frog. We like Frog a whole lot. Frog just does not need any tech points right now. Because he has all of his abilities. So. Alright, here we go. We are going to change the party. There we go. There we go. And we're running. Uh, all right, well. Ah, yeah, so we want to place the Saint Stone here. Okay. So that did a thing. All right, well. That might, uh, that might do a thing that we need it to do later on. All right. All right, yeah, so we've got a situation where the, the birds are definitely impacted by the... Uh, oh, come on, man. we got the birds that are impacted by elemental stuff but resistant to the physical. We've got the bugs that are resistant to the elemental, but they are weaker to the physical. So We're going to just take care of them. And go from there. Yay! Robo increased in level. You love to see that. Love to see that. Hope that uh, this Monday is going all right for you guys. Let me know uh, in in the chat here if uh, what do you what's your perspective on Monday? Like, is is Monday like is Monday the dreaded day for you? Uh, or is Monday like how what's your perspective on Mondays? Because for me, it's I feel like it's changed over the years. Like I've had some seasons of my life where like I've really, really enjoyed Mondays. Like Mondays have been like so full of possibility and, and um, you know, it was staff meeting days. And so those were days that were always like, you know, good, good conversational days and whatnot. And then there have been some some seasons where like Mondays are, man, just so difficult to get into, uh, so so difficult to to find the motivation to get into them. Um, where where do you find yourself with that? 
just curious. For me, I am, I'm loving Mondays right now. Well, I'd, maybe that's a little bit over enthusiastic. I'm liking Mondays right now. I love Monday evenings for sure. Because it means I get to come and hang out with you guys. And my Mondays are not altogether bad days per se. But sometimes, uh, sometimes if I don't sleep well on a Sunday night, it's, uh, it's challenging for me to get started on Monday. But, uh. Yeah, I've tried to keep the perspective that uh, Monday Mondays kind of have a they're they're just the start of a new week, you know, the start of a new week. It's kind of a natural reset button, you know. There's uh, there's sometimes where there are weeks that happen where you know there are just some crappy things that take place during the week, but uh, I get to choose what I do or how I approach my week. And so, I guess I just want to approach it from the point of, of saying, hey, you know what? Uh, this is a brand new day that, uh, that God's given to me, and it's a gift, and I don't want to take that for granted, because I wasn't promised it yesterday, and I wasn't promised a Monday last, last Monday, last Sunday. So, ah, you know what I'm saying. You know where I'm going with that, but... Yeah, I wasn't promised it, but I got it, and so it's a gift, and um, I'm going to be grateful for that gift. I'm also super grateful for this Monday, because my in-laws have been in town this week, and they are incredible people. I am super lucky to have some great in-laws so We've been hanging out. Got to take him to a local burger place tonight, which uh, is always a good thing. It's one of those places. I don't know if you guys have have those uh, those uh, restaurants and whatnot in your in where wherever you're from. That like when you when you roll up on it, like you're not sure if you're gonna get murdered or you're gonna get like really really good food. But this is definitely one of those places that you can get some really nice food when you go there. And by really nice food, I mean like really, really tasty burgers. And man, they've got these fried pickles that like, I'll tell you what, like I'm not a, I'm not a pickle fan, but like those things, I had to eat my weight in those. And that's a fair amount. All right, we're going to go back to the past. And by the past, I mean we're going to go back to the future. And we're going to see what we can see. Oop. Sorry, I just clicked off. <laughs> just clicked off my window there for a second. And all right. Middle Ages. All right, we are hoping that this is going to provide us hey what is up matt it's so good to see you tonight buddy so glad you are here dude i am looking forward to hanging out with you a little bit later this evening i mean i wish it was in person but uh we take what we can get so we are uh we're just figuring out this uh this lost sanctum area where we're at and uh, i think I think we might have figured out a way forward from here, so we will certainly take what we can get. How's your Monday night treating you, man? You have a you have a good Monday today, dude. I by the way, I really really appreciate your text yesterday morning. It's so great knowing 
when uh, when people are praying for me, especially going into a Sunday morning service like that, man, so so good, so so key to uh, to what I'm doing. I, there's some there are actually some stories I want to share with you that are some things that man, if you could be joining me in prayer with, I would uh, definitely appreciate. All right, so we put. We got to figure out this ladder business. This is, this is goofy. So we did everything that we needed to do as far as the ladder goes. And we just got to get it in place. Frog is, he is missing on so many fronts. And by frog, I mean Robo. Robo is missing on so many fronts. Maybe I should put Frog back in Farty. Party, good night. Farty. <laughs> All right, we are, we need a sturdy vine to make a sturdy ladder. You ought to be able to find some growing in the thicket down in the southern glade. Okay, so we're gonna always vote frog. Man, yeah. I do love frog. Like, I love his character. I love using him in party. Um, I am just trying to work on getting tech points for these three because they are the ones who are missing right now. Woo! That crit, though. Nothing wrong with that. So, Matt, I saw some, uh, some news this week about potential border openings, which got me all excited. Looks like, uh, if things, if things keep moving or if things move in a, a positive direction there might actually be a roll of level to get I would love that yeah me too man me too especially and I and I haven't looked quite at the uh the cost of airfare just yet but like my understanding is that being that my city is a hub city for a major airline if we can get them cheap airline tickets we will take those So allegedly, allegedly there is a vine down here somewhere. Well, and now that I'm now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering, okay, did I need to go to the past to do something? Uh, I've got this feeling. I got this feeling. I'm gonna poke around. I'm gonna poke around and see what I can see, but I've got this feeling like I'm gonna have to go. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go back to the past again. I and I bet it's gonna require like a oh you've got to go grow this thing. Hmm. Well. I'm going to check all over here first before we... Oh! Never mind. We got ourselves a sturdy vine. Sweet! 
We got all of the other stuff and things for a sturdy ladder. All right. Then, okay, so we got this. We need a sturdy vine. Yep. Okay. Maybe now. Oh, no. I got to fight those rats again. Rat. Those rats. Always aggro. I, okay. This is this is kind of a little 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 complaining time here. We're gonna, we're, we're com gonna complain a little bit. Oof! That thunder. Hope the power holds. We are hoping. All right. So those rats always aggro. They always aggro. There's no sneaking around them. It's all XP. It's all tech points. We'll take it. But still. All right. Robo, we'd like the means to hang the new ladder. We need some way to reach the top. I don't think success in this era. Okay. So now we got to go to the path. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the moral of the story with this area is there's a lot of back and forth, which, okay, this, it makes sense, it's, you know, playing with the time travel mechanic here, but, always the rats, and they steal MP too, they're so rude, they are so rude. Alright. Tech points. I know we're like a ways away from where we need to be with tech points with especially with Magus, my goodness. Boy needs he needs a lot. Alright. Regen that health and those magic points, and we are off again. We're leaving. All right, we are going to prehistory. So Matt, I'm trying to remember if you were on stream or not last week, but we tried to take the fight to Lavos and we failed miserably. It was not a good scene. Uh, how far into the game I am? Uh, you know, I am, I would say we're probably about 80% through. Um, we are, we are actually at the part of the game where um, we've got like maybe two acts left in the game. And, um, and so we are, this, this is now like the side quest, uh, portion where there are a bunch of things that you can do to get some of the, um, best armor, some of the best weapons in the game and whatnot. And, uh, so this, this part here actually... Is kind of interesting because um, this was added after. This was added after. I think when the DS version came out. So, this this part is new to me, which is kind of an interesting part. Um, it does it doesn't really do a lot as far as like extra story beats or anything like that, but it's a largely enjoyable section of the game. Minus some of the back and forth stuff, but it is kind of cool that, like, it's, it really is like a distilled, um, a, a really, really distilled version of, okay. Yeah, this is where we should be able to
Hey, there we go. This should suffice. No. Amusing. This one does not... Assuming this one does not fail as well. Excuse me. Apologize. My afternoon coffee is starting to wear off. Speaking of coffee, I'm going to try to set up a time here in the next couple of weeks where I'm going to do virtual coffee with Mr. And by Mr. I mean Dr. Level Up. Um, we had Dr. Level Up on the podcast last year, and he is just a just a stellar dude. Uh, I appreciate that guy so much. Like every now and then he'll shoot me a message and, and just be super encouraging Ask how he can be in prayer. I mean, I, I just love that. I just really, really appreciate that. So, excuse me. Yeah, he and I were he and I were talking, and I said, "Man, like we need to we need to do like a like a virtual coffee hangout." He's like, "We need to make that happen." dude is a legitimate professor um, and he is going to be a legitimate doctor in the uh, in the foreseeable future which is pretty awesome and by doctor I don't mean medical doctor I mean like PhD doctor which is awesome Right, we're gonna go heal up, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if our ladder is there, and fight those rats again. Those goofy rats. Let me tell you. Got to uh, have the. Uh, Joy and fun of having an eye exam done today. Been a little over a year. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a party. Especially because, like, now, like, instead of doing the, uh, I don't know if they, this is, uh, like that where you are, but, um, instead of doing, like, the, um, the eye drop stuff that dilates your eyes, they have this camera that you essentially like smush your face next to the camera and uh, and, and as my wife described it, um, they make you look into an arc reactor. Uh, it really does kind of feel like that. It's a super blinding light. Hey, our ladder's there. Who knew? And there are chests we can open. Athenian water, sweet. Robo, line her up the ladder. All right, here we go. All right, these guys are weaker against elemental attacks. And that's why we brought Magus with us. Woo, an ale increase levels. Love that. All right, and we are saving. Working our way up the mountain. We're going to go ahead and we're going to fight a monster that we fought in the past and he swore rainbow helm that's awesome <gasps> that if i remember correctly is one of the best helmets in the game that's cool that they added that in there because i 
for whatever reason, my memory seems to tell me that that's an item that you could only get, like, maybe one or two of. Oh, these guys. All right, sounds good, man. I'm looking forward to hanging out with you a bit later. Hope that uh, hope that you, the rest of your evening goes well. Until we speak again, friend. We're just using our basic attacks here because we're going to want to save some of our MP for the fight that we have ahead of us i have a feeling that this new is going to be a little bit tougher mermaid helm okay oh uh, let's see so aussie pants mermaid helm cuts water damage in half halves light damage interesting okay i that seems to be maybe a little bit different than what i remember I had, okay. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's not the best in the game. Stand between turns, mermaid helm, light damage. Alright, well, we'll just keep that helm on for now. Oh, you finally, finally get here. I waited a long time for you. I trained lots and lots. Now I beat you. Ooh. Uh, we are going to beast toss. Woo. Yikes. Oh no, that was unfortunate. Okay, we're not doing that again. Alright, we are healing. Whew. Poor Ayla. Alright, uh, mid potion. Oh, nope. High potion. <laughs> Gee. Oh. That... Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, no. All right, well... Put some defenses up here. Yeah. All right, so this guy has over 8,000 hit points to him. doing a bunch of healing. Okay, so he seems to... Woo! Poor Ayla. Okay, it looks like this guy is going to... Oh, I need some more... We might have made some mistakes, folks. barriers up here because it was really apparent that I was not ready for that attack.
Oh, that is highly unfortunate. All right. All right, so it looks like dark attacks heal him. Let's see what fire does. Don't heal, don't heal. Okay, well, not much, but... business here. Alright, we're gonna heal up. So, barrier sphere. I know that physical damage is necessarily a problem here. Okay, so it looks like fire damage is going to hurt him. So, oof. Life Shaver, that is not a fun attack. We can charm a mop from this guy if we really wanted to. I don't know that I see much of a need for us to get a mop, but... That's a big time bummer. Ooh, love that crit hit though. All right. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Why I lose? I'm very strong now, but I can't win. I have friends assisting me in battle and people I wish to protect. You do not. I believe the outcome is a result of that discrepancy. Oh, I need friends? I never think like that. Maybe you're right. Will you be my friends? Of course. Not ask, be friend, be nice, help, be friend, take time. But maybe Ella be friend, Ella be friend. Okay, something I, you need something. I help you, I be your friend. I train hard for a long time. I tired now, I rest a little. Napping. Napping. Guess we're napping. All right, so we should now have a different shiny. The stone shines with an inner light. Obtained waystone. All right. Uh, he's sleeping. He's so sleepy. 
Alright, we won't wake him up. Yay, tech points. All right. Here we go. So, <laughs> speaking of Mario Brothers. I just talked to a friend of mine today that is looking at doing a Mario tabletop RPG that sounds very interesting. I won't go into more, any more details than that because I don't know if I'm allowed to share any more details than that. Sounds like a very interesting thing. Yay! Robo wins proximity bomb! Yay! I think... No, nope. He still has electric cube. Yes! All right, we're going to climb down the mountain. We're going to go fight those rats again because that's what you got to do. And then I am going to find the place where we need to... Maybe now we can go into that cave. But I think we have to go to the cave in the past. Actually, I don't know that we can go to the cave in the past. I don't quite remember. That is the question. Bum, 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 bum. Nope. Not quite. There we go. We're going to save. Yeah, neighbor of mine is always building stuff. Yeah. And I'm glad for it. All right. We're going to rest up. Rest up. And we're going to. Do. Fix bridge in the mountains. You befriended him? Oh, I knew I was right to ask you. Let me give you this for going all the way out to help him. Obtain Nova armor, yes! If there's anything I ever do to help you or you're that fellow out, please don't hesitate to ask. I am going to ask. Gonna ask so many times for help. Were I as strong as you, I'd become an explorer, but I'm not. So I have to make do with exploring close to home. Alright, a bridge wants to be fixed. Okay, we are in the 680, okay. So we need to figure out who wants us to build the bridge. You've done a lot for this village. We owe you a great deal of thanks. 
You know what? That makes me happy hearing that. Alright. I love to build things. I want to make something that will last for centuries to come. Alright, I guess we're going back to the mountain. Alright, hold on a second. He's building his bridge on the Mount Emerald. East to the Southern Glide. Please go and make sure he is alright. Fighting the rats again. It looks like we might have to borrow Some materials so looks like we're gonna go to the past I I do have a guide pulled up um, just kind of FYI I know that maybe a little little cheatsy there all right we're leaving all right we're gonna go I think we're gonna go ahead and take a break from this for a minute we're gonna Equip this Nova armor here, because that's cool. Prevents all status ailments. Nice. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's pretty all right. That ruby armor, though, that's uh, very nice. I feel like... So this is Ozzy's fort, but I feel like there should have been something in here for Magus. Ah, I guess we're putting ruby armor on everyone, because... I guess we don't have ruby armor for everyone. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead, I think, and do some of the other side quests here. seem to remember there is one that is over in this general vicinity. The sunken desert. All right, we got Fiona's Villa. Okay, mid sweet. My husband Marco is finally home from the war. Oh, I'm so relieved. Worry not, my love. We won't be parted again. Sunken desert. I 
Wow, that was easy. Ooh, 60 tech points, we'll take that. All right. Magus coming out with that dark mist. It's so good. Such a great elemental attack. See how this goes here. Okay, so physical attacks. These guys are decently strong too, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. That works. That definitely works. Tained high ether. We'll take that. More sand creatures. When will it end? They've got sand creatures for days. Well, we take care of those sand creatures with the dark mist. Level up. Love that. Uh, <laughs> these guys, they keep coming. They don't stop. Can't stop. Don't stop. Ooh, those tech points, though, coming out of here. Cannot argue with that. It's a trap. Ah, I never learn. Dino tail, yes. Team Ionian suit. Team hypo. Ooh, ground shake. Oh, snap. Melfix. So, he's the one draining the life from this land. Bone move under sand. Hard to see. Alright, so we got memory cap. What does that do? Well, we're going to go ahead and heal up while we're here. And then what is... Prevents lock. Okay. All right. Team Muscle Ring. Team Aeonian Hell. All right. It's Dino Tail time. And a damaged sand like body. Ooh.
All right, looks like we maybe have to attack the bottom. Right. We're gonna go ahead and heal here, okay. Okay, that doesn't seem attack boosted one. Okay. Well, that was a big time bummer. And defense reduce. Okay. Interesting. What does light do? Defense boosts attack. Okay. All right, so it looks like we got to hit it with water. And then, oh no. All right, we're gonna hit him with some heals. Hit him with some water. See what happens here. All right, yeah, that makes okay. Defense boost when it's all right. So the idea is to hit him with the water, and then pull off a physical attack here. We're going to focus fire on the legs here, I think. Oof, poor Robo. I think we might use an elixir on Robo. We're going to use an Athenian water on Robo, because Robo just died. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. What's also unfortunate is that I did not stop for waters before coming into this area. All right. Sweet. All right, we're gonna... I think we're still within the window of being able to attack with the defense down. Alright, we're gonna see what happens here. Ooh! 
Definitely love seeing that. needs healed. Yeah, that's not bad. Still going to try to keep ourselves healed up here. Alright. Broken legs. Alright. So defense boost when attack. Alright. charm it. We're going to find out. Get free stuff. Get free stuff. Nope. Oh, no. All right. All right. You know what? We're going to throw out a heal beam because I think that would be the thing to do. And then we're also going to use an ether there. We're going to Ice attack, rapid fire fists. Rinse, lather, repeat. I love the mechanic here of um, of having a boss that it's uh, it's defenses, it's it's uh, it's posture changes as you d use different types of attacks on it. Oh, I hope I can get this heal off. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. It's happening. Let's hope that we survive. All right. Woo. All right. Earned twenty six that six hundred XP, a hundred TP. Found two thousand G. Magus learned black hole. Bad bone smash. Fiona happy. Better be happy after that. Obtain turbo ether. Sweet. All right, we are gonna we're gonna heal up there. Tank strength capsule. All right, Fiona. Thank you for dealing with those foul creatures. Now I can set to work replanting again. Alas, I fear it'll take ages to plant enough trees to reforest. Ah, <sighs> if only there was someone who could toil for centuries on end. Then these wastes could truly be made green again. What do you think? I could remain here and assist Madam Fiona. And you could come retrieve me from here once my work was complete. Is that all right? May I stay behind? All right. Robo is staying behind. He is working the land. Look at this guy. He is just going to work. Mad lad. All right. All 
All right, we are going to go ahead and go to the present day because that is where we're going to find... Look at this. Look at this guy. Fiona Shrine. This is Fiona Shrine. Here we give thanks to Fiona and Robo for reving, reviving the forest scorched in the war against Magus 400 years ago. The remains of the venerable Robo are enshrined in the inner sanctum. My hats are woven from twigs rich in the myth mystical energies of the forest. Oh, well. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we'll... Uh, I'll take a couple of those. Prevents all status ailments. Yo. That is all right. see if Luca can work her magic. Systems reactivating. Where am I? Oh, Meryl, how nice to finally see you again. Only a few moments have passed for you, but I have been waiting for 400 years. However, my efforts were worthwhile. The forest is restored. Now we shall celebrate. How shall we celebrate our 400 year reunion? Luca's fixing him up. I realized during these past 400 years, I believe we may have been incorrect in our assumption that Lavos was responsible for the creation of the gates. What do you mean? It is not certain, but I have come to believe it is possible that some entity wishes for us to witness these events. Perhaps it wanted to us to see all of these various ages alternately it may have wished to see them for itself it seems almost as though it was reflecting on the days of its past Elano, person die see life pass by elders say before death claims a man he is made to bear witness to the second time to those memories engraved most deeply upon his heart. There may be fond memories among them, yes, but often as not, the ones which grieve us are the most profound. Knowing the end is approaching likely reactivates dormant feelings of regret and desires to return to moments of the past. Do you suppose that'll happen when our time comes? Probably. Who knows? Is there a point in time you'd want to return to, Luca? I... No. Not... Not really. I'm sorry. I, I probably shouldn't have asked that. No, it's, it's okay. It's just... Something I don't like to think about too much. But even if Lavos did not open the gates, his fate is clearly bound to that of the one who did. Lavos has played a role in every age we've seen. Who do you think it is? It is unknown to me whose memories they are. It is likely an entity greater than any of us. Perhaps we will not know until our journey has come to an end. Shall we turn in for the night? Oh, 
Oh, snap. It's Luca's Gate. Here we go. What's this? June 24th, 1990. Dad promised to go hiking with me, but he's blew me off again because of his research. I don't get it, but whatever. Who cares about the stupid science stuff? Girls don't need to know about that stuff. Yeah, they do. The password to shut down the device is the name of the one is my one true love. Use it in, emerg in an emergency. What is this thing anyway? Taven said to keep away from it, but it's so dusty. Surely it wouldn't hurt just to tidy up a little. Dear me, my skirt! It, it's I'm stuck! Luca! Luca, help! I can't pull it out! Oh no! Look, the password! Enter the password! Stop the machine! But I don't know it, Mom! <sighs> Mommy, thank goodness! Luca! Oh, Luca! July 2nd, 990. That was close. I think I better study a little more about machines in case anything like that ever happens again. Luca just saved her mom's legs. That was always weighing on your mind, was it not, Luca? You are always thinking of others. I have a present for you. It is a piece of amber I created using sap from the trees in the for this forest. It required 400 years and a great deal of pressurization to make. I hope you will find it useful. Obtained green dream. Robo, that, you're so sweet. Thank you. Oh, wow. Automatically revives KO'd wearer once. That's pretty all right. So interestingly, let's go to Luca's house. Because some things are surely different. Oh, perfect timing. Obtained Taven suit. Another great invention just complete. The ultimate in defense for my beautiful daughter. Yeah, look at that. Has fire damage. Sweet. <gasps> she walks. What a beautiful day. I think I'll go for a walk once I finish the housework. That had to be, like, imagine, like, being in that position where, like, you see somebody that you love that has been 
like just going through just crazy crazy health stuff and then like all of a sudden like man they're walking and it's just man I've, I've seen that a couple of times and it's it's pretty wild pretty wild to say the least all right, so we got a couple of the stuff and things there. Um, we're gonna actually we're gonna go to the the future, not the end of time. We're gonna go to the future. So we're gonna try to get Chrono back, and I think once we get Chrono back, that is going to be the goal of this stream is that's we're going to get chrono back all right death's peak we're going to save here i think this is the this is the team to do it i think so oh that's right we got a this is this is kind of crazy like you got to you got to book it to the tree here Maybe maybe there's something in one of these domes here. Let's go into a dome here. Let's go into the keeper's dome. Oh, let's uh, rename the Epoch. Death's Peak Harbor is a power capable of restoring the slain to life, but the power to reverse death is not one easily invoked. The need must be great, and the person's existence of most utmost importance. And what's more, you need a double of the doll identical. Okay. I think we might actually... Alright, we've got to go to Chrono's house, because Chrono's house is where we left that. I hope that was the present and not the like whew. I had a uh, little bit of a starting to have a little bit of the palpitations that I might have gone the wrong to the wrong time zone or not time zone but might have gone to the wrong time all right oh hello is chrono all right yeah he's just He's just fine. Well, I hope he's not causing too much trouble. You tell him I set on to behave himself, all right? Um, listen, I'm, I mean, yes. We'd like to borrow this doll for a bit. Go right ahead, my dear. All right, we got Chrono's doppel doll. You stay out of trouble now. No, we won't. All right, we're going to the future. All right, we'll save now. I think, if I remember correctly, if we get behind here and we stop moving... Oh, no. Alright, we're going to go back in here. 
Because we might need something behind that door. And we're only going to get behind that door. After we... T I think after we talk to the new here again. Okay, just to power... Uh, what's more, you'll need... Double, a doll, identical person every way, then only then we have the power to design them. Yes, this will do quite well. It seems the time has come for you to attempt Death Peak. It is the only chance you have of reviving your friend. I've implanted one final program, truly, I mean it this time, in this construct's memory banks. It will help you. I will help to guide you up the mountain. Please stand back. Executing program. Executing program. That's right. So these dolls will actually help us climb the mountain. The three entities you just saw will aid you on Death's Peak. This ends my message. Now, I will ask you fa for a favor. This construct has reached the end of its final program. Please, let him rest. The switch is on his stomach. It's such a weird, weird request. Like the on-off switch is on his belly button. All right, here we go. Oh. We mean business. Ooh. All right. Getting them new techniques. All right, magic ring. Let's. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I did not go and buy more Athenian waters. Luca's gonna bring the heat. Okay, I guess that was where we were supposed to go. All right. We're just going to go ahead and use normal attacks here. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We should... We should equip these. Ooh, spoopy. Ooh, 
Poor Meryl needs a little bit of healing. Healing. Right, we're going to save. You know what? We're going to go ahead and use a shelter, too, I think. Obtain barrier ring. It's awesome. Oh, no! Pew, pew! Sap! Dunk! Oh, snap. You gotta heal up here. got to attack the uh, the head on these things and not the shell. Gigaton arm. All right. Not as good as the dragon arm. So we're going to... We're going to come back out here and we're going to use the save spot to... I think we might change out a character or two. Because we need... I really feel like we need Ayla on this one because she is a really good single target. And let's look at tech stuff here. Okay, Robo is... Okay, so he is poised to benefit from us doing that. Okay, party... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go Ayla. I kind of want to put Magus in. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put Magus in. Uh, we're going to grab that. Shelter. All right. 
Oh, yeah, we're going to save, too. That would be helpful. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Of course, if I could go in the right direction, that would be fantastic. All right. Obtained a brave sword. Ooh, that's a jump right there. We'll take that. Well, I know these guys are weak to fire, so we're going to use fire attack. We'll take that. Excellent. And we're gonna have to fight these guys again. We're just gonna go ahead and use regular attack, save that MP. We got some heavy hitters in this group, so I'm not concerned there. Level ups. And save. Uh, we're going to see if. The, ooh. Normal attacks. Woo! All right. Hadian Sickle. We will take that. Heal everybody up. Go for the head. Right, we're going to get Robo's rocket punch in here. Rapid fire fists, yeah! Put them down. Hundred and twenty tech points. Nothing wrong there. The footing here is icy and slick. Be very careful. Fall, and you'll have to start over. Good to know. All right, well. We can do what we can. We're almost there, guys, I think. Can we save Chrono tonight? Obtain Yaksha Blade. Sweet. All right, get them 
potions. And we're running. All right. Push the shell, climb the shell. Oh, looks like we got a... We got a thing that's going to be happening here. And by a thing, I mean we are going to fight another lava spawn. Yay! for the head. Punch it! Nice try. All right. 120 attack points. Love to see that. Learned Electrocute. Even better. Alright. We're going to climb that in just a second. And by just a second, I mean we're going to do that right now. Team Memory Cap. Excellent. This is it, the summit of Death Peak. I suppose that was Robo speaking. I didn't do Robo's voice, I'm sorry. Fear of night and opposer of darkness, please grant us your power. Chrono, the pendant's reacting. Shattered. This cannot be all our work accomplished. Nothing. No cry. Ayla miss Chrono too. Sad Chrono no come back. Chrono, please answer us. Oh no. Lips. A time freeze? I've never dreamt it possible. Just Ayla move? It appears that time has been suspended. We just need to exchange the Doppel Doll for Chrono. What a relief, Sir Chrono. Thank goodness you are all right. Hurry, take Chrono. Save the tearful reunion for later. If we've done all we must, let us be on our way. Magus is having some big regrets. Wishing that he could do something for Shala, and he can't. Man. The ladies and gentlemen, we got him. He's back. Sir Chrono, welcome back. Chrono back! Chrono okay?
we have all been waiting for you, Meryl and Luca and, well, all of us. Alright, folks. We did it. We saved Chrono. We have reached the faded hour. And we have also reached the end of the live stream. So, I think that's where we're going to leave things off for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Make sure that if you aren't following us on the social media platforms, uh, please make sure that you give us a, a follow, a like, a subscribe. We would love that um, because it helps us to get the word out about what's going on with the all things Roll the Level. Um, Sarah's going to be on tomorrow night. I think she's still playing some Super Mario Sunshine. And uh, yeah, we're going to be all back together this Friday for the podcast. So looking forward to that. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks so much for hanging out tonight. Look forward to the next time when we can help each other to roll the level. <laughs>